Let's take a look at aligning clones. Please note that this tutorial was created on an iPad Pro using Animation Pro version 1.3. Your screens may look a little different. Now sooner or later, you'll find yourself in a situation where your clones are out of alignment. Now by clones, I'm referring in particular to shadows and reflections, as they should generally maintain a fixed distance from their parent figure. So let's start by getting ourselves in such a predicament. Here's a short animation of a man walking across the screen. Now I'd like to add a shadow to the figure. I could certainly do that by adding the shadow to each and every frame, but that would be long and tedious. So I'll start by adding the shadow to the first frame only. Selecting a Z order for the shadow that is lower than its parents will ensure that it always remains behind the parent figure. I'll then use Animation Pro's keyframing capabilities to quickly add the shadow to the remaining frames. But, as you can see, the shadow is not aligned to the parent figure in any of the subsequent frames. Now, in this case, we know that the shadow should retain the same X and Y displacement from its parent figure in each of the frames. Given that, I can align the shadow correctly in one of the frames, in this case the shadow was already aligned correctly in the first frame, and then select Align Clone from the key menu. Next, I'll choose to align the clone in all of the frames, and then finally I'll press the green tick button. And hey presto, the shadow is now aligned in all of the frames. I hope you found that as informative as I did. Thanks for watching.